Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. This kit is molded in 172nd scale as you can see here and it copies Dornier Doll 27 in Portuguese SAF and IAF um, service. And obviously this kit is uh, featuring the same plastic which we saw in previous two boxings which we reviewed on our YouTube channel and our website. You can find the reviews easily, just type during year 27 and you will see them. But here as you can see we have Israeli, Portuguese and also South African Air Force uh, marking options for this nice small aircraft. Uh, this plastic is relatively new, I would say, so it was presented uh, last year already, 2018. But still it is quite nice plastic and we are going to open it and to check what is hidden inside right now. So as you can see, box is quite typical for this kit. Here you can see comparison with my hand. On the side we have some information about the manufacturer. But the most interesting thing here, because we have all the marking options which are included here, uh, there are six of them, which is quite surprising, because usually uh, we are used to see in small scale kits uh, less marking options than this. And as you can see, they are quite colorful, so it will be a uh, hard choice to decide which copy you would like, uh, which mark and you would like to have in small scale. That's a side opening box and meanwhile I would like to remind you that you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. Uh, it is done via PayPal so you will be the one who will decide how much we will get but be sure that all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment. So here we have all plastic sprues as you can see they are packed into the same plastic bag and there is plenty of space inside the box, box is quite sturdy, so I hope everything will arrive intact to you. So here we have also decals, which are packed together with small PE thread, we will check them later. Transparent plastic sprue, also later. We will start with grey plastic sprue. So first one is dedicated to uh, various parts, because here we have even uh, one fuselage half, cockpit four, uh, winding gear parts, cooling parts, tail wings which are molded together. We, everything is placed here and note how uh, fuselage half is divided because it's molded together with tail segment. I can bring it closer so that you can see this part in detail. So here it is. We have recessed panel lines which should look good after um, being painted with necessary shade. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see, we have guiding pins. Actually here we have swaths for the pins. And we also have some minor detailing for the interior, which can be enhanced with uh, washings and weathering. Here you can see that we also have position pins on the cooling panels, which is quite nice. Uh, tail wing is molded as one piece part, so you won't have to deal with any separate halves and actually you get the right alignment out of the box because as you can see they are connected and here you can see cockpit 4 which looks quite simple but it will be upgraded with separately molded plastic parts. Now we can move on to the next plastic sprue. This one is smaller because it features winding gear parts. As you can see there are several types but obviously we will use only one out of those. And again, molding quality is really nice. All those wheels are molded as one piece parts. Again, I will bring them closer so that you can see what I'm talking about. So here they are. You can see here, for example, comparison with my fingertip. And on the other side, we have quite nice molding quality. Even the brake calipers are replicated. So I think it should look good after careful painting. Here you can see that landing gear legs have special uh, guiding elements which will also be useful um, during installation because you will get the right alignment straight away without any problems. Here we have another minor sprue. This one is more concerned with uh, interior. As you can see we have various parts because there were several interior versions. I'm not sure if this kit will actually let you uh, build several or choose out of several um, interior options, but let's bring closer these parts so that you can see what we have here. So we have here uh, several options for the rear seats. Also here you can see pilot seats and also pedals, dashboards. So two options to choose out of from. And here we have another Grey plastic sprue. This one is the last one. So we have here 
uh, another physio edge cuff, also wing ports and two types of the propeller. Now let's bring it closer so that you can see this physio edge cuff in detail. Again, we have resist panel lines, as you can see, all hatches are molded separately and that's in one seventy second scale, which is quite nice. Uh, note that here we have really tiny elements. Here you can see comparison with my fingertips, so be careful with them. Uh, those are two types of the propellers. Also here we have wing parts. Attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate the part and install it into the right spot. Here we have another wing half and note the wing division because we have to insert it here so basically leading edges won't be affected by the separation and you have to do less sending if you do everything carefully you just get a nice results straight away of course flaps and ailerons are pre-molded so you won't be able to move them on your aircraft but that's not needed in 170 second scale in my opinion and here you can see uh, interior detailing for the left which half and I just remind you that we have guiding elements inside so it will be quite easy to connect those two parts together and then we have a clear plastic sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag this will help you avoid possible scratches on this important um, frame let's say and let's zoom in focus the camera and now you can see that here we have all necessary clear parts for this tiny aircraft. As you remember, hatches were molded separately, so you will be able to open them if you would like to. And the same can be said about the frontal section. Uh, the only thing which is, um, let's say, typical for this kit is that masks are not included, so you have to search for them or cut them with your own hands. Uh, next, we have another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to decals, as you remember, and also small PE fret. So again, I'm going to open it and we'll check everything closer. Just give me a second. So here is the decal sheet, which is printed in cartograph. So we have really nice printing quality. We also have decal for the dashboard and full range of the stencils. As far as you can see, we don't have seat belts here, but at least we have this spiral for the uh, propeller hub. And I can even bring those decals closer so that you can see how good they are. I mean, this is really sharp printing quality and I like it. I mean, here you can see, for example, stencils. These are really small symbols, but they're carefully printed. And there are no visible problems with them. And next we have also small P fret. Here it is. Of course, it is unpainted. And here we have mix of external and internal parts, which will be handy for fine detailing of your small dornier. And last but not the least is this assembly manual, which is printed in form of a small brochure. As you can see here, we have a um, short history note and check in English on the first page. Then on the next pages, we have parts map. Note that some parts won't be used, so you can get them into your spare parts, paints chart here in Gunzi numbers by the way. Assembly process starts with cockpit and as far as you can see there is uh, no choice of the um, configuration for the cockpit so be sure to get the right version. Here we assemble wing, we also assemble the nose section and tail section for the fuselage, uh, landing gear attachment here and note that here you have undercarriage attachment which will have to feature different parts. The same was with interior. So as you can see, there will be different parts. So be sure to use the right ones for your marking option. Of course, you can open or close this hatch, which is quite a nice option. Then we have also uh, here antenna arrangement. So it will also depend on the marking option. P parts, as far as you can see, are also dependent on the marking option, so be careful with this. You can open the front doors, so it will be up to you if you would like to have such option on your model. And here you can see first marking option. This one comes from Israel Air Force 1966. Next is also from the same Air Force, it's early 1970s. Uh, this one is also from Israel Air Force, but this is from flying school and it copies aircraft from June 1982 
This one comes from Israel Air Force and it's from 1971. Here we have South African Air Force from March 1962. And the last one is from Portuguese Air Force. Um, as you can see, it's used until recently for in-flight demonstrations by Air Museum, which is quite interesting. And whole aircraft is covered with this interesting camouflage with huge symbols. So that's all for this kit. As you can see, we have another nice set in 172nd scale. It should be already available for purchase. You can get it on official uh, special hobby website. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help us greatly and you won't miss any new video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.